Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys, happy Saturday. I'm Rai, and we're here to celebrate part two. Part two of, of three years of streaming. You're late, I am late. You wanna know why I was late? Because of my stupid allergies again. <laughs> Literally two hours before, I, I had I had some I had made some kimchi jjigae and I was all proud of myself. And then I I walked back into my room and then my eyes blew up and I couldn't breathe through my nose. So I was just like, well crap. Let me just take a bunch of medications. And then hopefully it'll clear up by then. So that's why I was freaking late on my my I, I'm just late on my celebration streams. Actually, you know what? You should just expect me to be late all the time. <laughs> it's so terrible. It is It is actually my weakness. It's my weakness, okay? I fully own up to it, but yeah, my, my allergies just cleared up and I said, okay, now that I can finally see my screen again. Oh my God, I'm just flying around everywhere. Now that I can si finally see my screen again, I, I can I can set up for my stream and then I started setting up for my stream and went oh shoot I didn't realize this was missing a scene that I needed it's not really a scene it's like an element an element you know but yeah we're here we did it we're, we're back on we're back live but hello Effie hello Wiz hello Terry welcome welcome um I'm not pe pleased about that poll so let me let me let me let me set things straight. And uh, we're, we're gonna do that again, okay guys? I'm actually just trying to test out to make sure these polls are working, so I'd appreciate it if you'd use them. So anyway. Here we go, new poll. Ready? All right, here we go. We're gonna do- we're gonna do this for just... Devilish deeds? No. No! Alright, well there it is. Current poll is you're not gonna die today. That is... That is the belief. And you have two options. But this is just my way of testing this out before... Before I do what we plan to do, honestly, I don't know if this is going to be a very long stream. But I guess I guess we'll just talk about stuff. I really don't have a lot planned, but I can tell you about things. I really can. So we could start off with um, it's been it's been three years, right? What have I accomplished for three years? I've accomplished. Um, I finally, finally, I broke out of like 349, so now I'm at 380 subscribers, I think. I, or not subs, sorry, not subs. Over, overdoing it. Follows. Yes. Woo! And then... And then I I was stuck, bleh, bleh. I was stuck on like 39 subs on YouTube forever. But then now I'm finally at 40 plus and I'm just happy that I broke 39 because 39 was a sad number. I did not like that. So we did it. Um, finally broke that. So I'm pretty proud of that. I have made three music videos over the time that I have been streaming for these past three years. That's pretty cool. What else have I done? I have, uh, um, inflicted distrust among my viewers. real 
Um, what else? Been called cringe? You know? Um, that's, that's a good accomplishment. What else have we done? <laughs> uh, we have... Well, okay, I have been called cringed, all right, but that that's good. Oh, I, I've been visited by follow bots multiple times. Multiple times. That's that that just goes that to show that we've we've been put on a list, right? Hello, hi white. Welcome. Wait, what was what was the results? View results. Oh, look at that. The perfect I believe you and I don't believe you. Equilibrium. Equilibrium. Do you guys actually believe that you don't believe me? The perfect equilibrium. I like how nobody touched that. What's happening here? We are doing part two of my celebration of vote or voting. Of of, of streaming. Streaming for three years. I'm trying to review everything that I've done. Streaming for three years. And this is what I've accomplished so far. I'd say, I'd say it's pretty all right. <laughs> um, let's see. What else can I say? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Where's the fill? Give me that solid fill. There we go. Okay. You made three models? I have. I have. For the three... Oh, ew. That's nasty. For the three years I've been streaming. Every... With every celebration, I have made a model. So we have technically... Three models that I built from Vroid. Finished a few projects and some commission work too. Yeah, true, true. I did a One Piece animation. That's right. I'm trying to indoctrinate everybody into Vroid. Um, I have a medicinal question. Sure, maybe I can finally do that medical stream that I've been putting in my goals. What is Neosporin? Neosporin is a mixture of different types of antibacterial ointment that you could apply, usually topically, because it's an over-the-counter sort of medication. You can apply that to your skin, so that way it does- it could fight against any potential bacteria that you may be dealing with. Funnily enough, I am- I'm allergic to Neosporin, really? Oh, wow. What do you use for the antibacterial stuff, then? I'm just curious. I, I don't really know. Usually I just default to Neosporin Vaseline. You know what? Vaseline is a very underrated. Underrated. Un like, like, underappreciated. Over-the-counter resource that people could have. I've, ha I've grown up with Vaseline all my life. And if anything, it's just maintained my skin. I wouldn't say it's improved anything or made things worse. It just maintains it. Like I washed the wound, then apply Vaseline. Yeah. Yeah. Vaseline to hydrogen peroxide. Mm -mm. That's, that's a good one. That's a good combo. But yeah, Neosporin, it's pretty common here in the US as an over-the-counter medication. Um... Unless you are taking antibiotics already, it's not necessary for you to to take Neosporin. Neosporin is like an extra step almost. For for generally healthy healthy people who don't have like uh, healing issues like diabetes, anything that could delay to where you could eventually uh, develop an infection, you probably wouldn't need the Neosporin. It's a little overkill. But if there is signs of potential infection, if it's so inflamed, or you just want to be extra careful, it doesn't hurt to apply it. I just wouldn't apply it for long. 
and then just keep the wound open. I know a lot of people say to cover up the wound, but I really, I don't think so. Yeah, I think you could just leave it out in the open. Unless it's like oozing, right? If it's oozing or if, if you're going through some patch that would cause it to get dirty again, then that's when you would cover it up. For, but for the most part with any wounds like that, you just kind of want to keep it open. Good question, good question. See, I can do medically related stuff. Actually, like, I know that was like on my list of things I've wanted to do for my stream, but I'm a nurse actually. And I found that a lot of these people who do these medical streams, right? No medical streams. And the reason why I decided not to attempt doing a medical stream, and I think this is for the best, is because I'm a nurse, I'm not a doctor. All the people who do these medical stuff are doctors. And the reason why they might be able to get away from it is number one, they're doctors. Number two, they're doctors. Number three, I mean, okay, the number one and number two are different when I say they're doctors. Number one, they're doctors, so they've researched these stuff. That It's usually medications or pathophysiology that people are asking which is what they excel on. Yes, I learned the same things, but my thing is more application. The things that I've learned are stuff that I was able to, like I do because I, I was taught how to care for it, not so much to teach you. I mean, yes, I do teach you. I teach you how to care for something when you go home, but in their case, they teach you, this is what's actually going on in your body. This is how the medications interact with it. This is also other things that interact with your healing process, yada, 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 right? Doctor privileges, correct. When I say do they're doctors, number two, they have the privilege of being able to say that because they're likely to not get fired. Once they figure out where a nurse works and you decide to become a content creator and you do one, one screw up and they know exactly where you work, you're going to, they're going to terminate you so fast. So... Even though I'm a cute little anime girl, I don't even feel safe doing that. <laughs> I don't even feel safe doing that. And I know that there is like some nurses who do share, but it's like they, they share things like that are for nurses. They teach nurses nursing things so that way they survive and stay afloat and maybe don't lose their mind. So it's either mental health or nursing education. And... That's the reason why I decided to not do medical streams. Oh shoot, because uh, number one, I'm not medical. Well, technically I am, but it's like when people think medical, they think doctor level sort of care. And for me, I, I meet people in the middle. So things that I say are like basic stuff and I purposely say it like that because number one, it's easy to digest. And number two, I don't feel like explaining a lot. <laughs> and I can get away with it because I'm a nurse. Half the time when, when the patients ask me, hey, what's this, this, and this? And what's this about? And then I do know. But do I feel like explaining it a lot of the times? Not at 4 a.m. in the morning no and, and and number two honestly those are questions they should be asking the doctor so half the time i default to here's a simple explanation of what's going on i understand your concerns and your questions and i would say to clarify it with the doctor but number three the doctor is definitely the one who can tell you the results because i can tell you that they're in there can't tell you what the results are it's all it's all this business speak so, yeah, that's why I haven't done any medical streams. That, and I swear, the medical community, medical community, I love them because they're so smart, but they're so smart that somebody always knows more than you. So if they find your content, this happens a lot on TikTok, and I notice this with a lot of doctors too. Once they figure it out that you're doing like, you're, you're doing, uh, giving them the wrong education, right? They're giving them the wrong education, then they're so quick to try to correct you, which I'm thankful for because we do not want any misinformation about people's care or what they expect out of something. But like if you, if you're known to be spreading all that misinformation or just 
misunderstanding a certain concept, they're so quick to call you out on it and then almost like politely throw you under the bus. <laughs> th politely throw you under the bus. Um, the only ones who get away with it, I would say, is dermatologists. I'm allowed to talk about doctors this way, okay? I'm a nurse, so I'm allowed to talk to them about this way. Dermatologists are allowed to get away with it because they could just be like, Oh, you're having a, that skin issue? How about we try to apply this instead? And then if that doesn't work, they're like, Oh, well, hmm, I don't see improvement. How about I recommend this cream instead? All they do is just recommend creams and ointments and everything. So, yeah. That's why I haven't done any medical streams. I'm so shy about doing that because it's like, I don't think I'm dumb. But I think the dumb decision would be to try to educate on something that that's not what people are really looking for when they come to my streams. And number two, honestly, I don't know a lot either. I'm always constantly learning. I just learned how to do like some sort of drip not too long ago. So I'm always learning. I'll let the doctors yap because they like hearing themselves talk about stuff that make them feel smart. And they will, they will talk your ears out. They have all this information because they went through eight years of suffering and they have to let it all out somehow. So I'll, I'll let them do it. I'm just going to be here and be a cute little anime girl. So that's the reason why no, no medical streams. Decided to, to not do it. Now, if I was a surgeon or something, maybe. I think that would be cool. It's so funny because medically wise, um... I posted on Pillow Fort of my frustration, right? My frustration of the fact that I'm, I'm like looking on Twitter. I'm scrolling through Twitter and I see a cute Korean man, handsome Korean man. But the thing, yeah, he's handsome. But the thing that catches, caught me more was his arms, his forearms, and then that one bulging vein that just runs through his forearm, right? And I'm just like, oh my God. That thing is so prominent. And then there's like three other pictures of pretty much that same vein. So I start crying on pillow for it being like, why is it that when I'm outside of a hospital setting, I can see everybody's veins like I have x-ray vision. Like I, I, can, I can just see them a mile away and go, ooh, look how voluptuous those veins are. But right when I walk in, I step into the hospital setting, it's like they all disappear. It's like y'all, I was going to put the words that you guys just absorb your veins in. It's already in your body. So it's not even, how do you absorb your veins in even further? But it's like, they're all shy when they, when you guys are in the hospital. It's, where did they go? They were right there. Even with a young, young person who should be having those deep, deep, thick veins. And they're like, yeah, I work out every day. Gym bros or whatever. It's like, theirs disappear too. It's messed up. So... That's the most medical talk you'll get out of me, which is maybe like too much information. <laughs> that that is probably the most you'll hear out of me. Just me being very, very, very particular about people's veins. I got called a vampire over there at Pillow Fort, and I'm like, there's a reason why they call us. There's a reason why they call us vampires. Honestly, this sounds like a job occupation hazard for her. I. Man, I don't know. I, I I was just lamenting. Why is everybody's veins not like that? I should just tell everybody to drink water constantly. There's no, there's no, it's not even going to be, you don't even need to work out. I'm not even asking you to stretch. Just, just drink water. So that way, when you walk into the hospital and meet somebody like me, they're going to see your juicy vein. And then be like, Mao, I, I can I can do that. And then they'll g gain confidence. You will instill confidence in your nursing and hospital staff if you just drink water, okay? Drink lots of water and they'll be so proud of you. <laughs> they'll be so proud of you and your body will thank you and your veins will just be like popping out like monsters and we'll all have a good time. That's it. That's... Anyway. So anyway, no no medical streams. Because all I will do is talk about your veins. Which... 
Maybe that I should make that a rule. We still have no forks. I I I realize I have not I have not even put any rules yet. I don't know. Like I I really probably should put rules because that that gives people a sense of 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 security, knowing that they're not just walking into the wild west when they click on my streams. But at the same time, I'm just like, don't be a fool. Don't act like a fool. If there's no rules in here, the reason why is because so far we've been good. And then you walk in here and be a fool, guess what? You're gonna be foolishly kicked out because you're, you're acting dumb. Don't do it. So I'm just listing stupid rules. No forks, don't talk to me about veins. I won't, str I won't shut up. I won't I won't stop talking about veins. But do do talk to me about hedgehogs. I I've been consistent. This is probably the most consistent I've been about these. Okay. No forks. Everybody has a spoon, okay? We don't do forks in here. Spoons only. And then we already figured out, established that we don't talk about veins because then everybody is just going to roll down their, their long sleeves, make sure I don't look at their forearms. And then we, we found one person who has, who's actually read my bio and talked to me about hedgehogs. <laughs> there has been one. Like, okay, you can ask me about Butterball. That technically counts. But there has been one rando who walked in and genuinely asked me about a hedgehogs. Like, oh, what about hedgehogs? And I go, oh my god, it's time. Everybody put everything down. Sit down. We're gonna be we're gonna be talking. For real. This is the real chat now. <laughs> okay. Is this a, an accomplishment? I don't even I don't think this is an accomplishment, guys. <laughs> well, Okay, I've made three three models. That's that's cool. I genuinely want to get so good at Vroid that I can start doing like one to ones, but then I don't take on commission. So it's like, what's the point? What's the point of me doing one to ones? But I would love to. I would I would like to improve on my Vroid making skills. I that is that is something that I would like to do, and I try to do it with every iteration. Um, so with that said, the three models. Yes, today we are going to be reviewing, reviewing, revealing a new skin suit. Yay! I wish I had cough cups, but that is, that is something that is, it has been in the works for a while. Um, so I'm excited, but with all of that, there's always a coinciding, coinciding project, right? So that's four models you made in three years? Yeah, I would say so. Technically, the second model is a rehash of the first, just wearing another outfit. But the two after this, or the two, this one and the one that's about to follow, they're, they're, they're all from scratch. Um, kind of build them from the ground up. This, this one, this, this outfit was far more simple, however. I mean, it's so simple because it's just pants some boots and literally just using like the basic model stuff that was available on Vroid and just customizing it for myself. So really simple, really quick. But this next one, it's, it was a little bit more involved. That's for sure. Oh, too close, too close. But again, I just want to thank everybody for everybody who's been watching me over the past three years. Be it close friends, lurking, or just dropping by, to the randos who just managed to catch my stream, even though I'm terrible at announcing them. Thank you. Uh, I've been I've been feeling a lot more motivated now that people around me are so creatively involved, and I really do want to do well. I don't, know, I, I don't mind that my growth is slow because I have a feeling. That with fast growth, it it'll be hard to adjust to. So with the with the slow crawl of, you know, 
pulling in people naturally, seeing regulars come by every so often. It's been okay. It's good. I really do like what I've cultivated so far and the people that I've surrounded myself with. I've noticed that a lot of people with the streaming community really have a hard time of finding people to connect to, to build a community with, to have like, I wouldn't say a fan base, but I guess like a viewer base that they, they really connect to and then also just having genuine friendships, right? I see a lot of those posts a lot on Twitter. And then I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs going, I'm so thankful that I managed to develop that before before starting all of this out. It's very reassuring knowing that there's just people I can talk to offline casually, no strings attached, and just have a good time with them. So thank you for those who are part of that, but also really thank you to the people who are regulars hanging out in chat, even just saying hello. You may not be able to stick around the whole entire time, but I am really thankful for that too. Um, I am glad that I was able to do... I, I mean, I'm so lucky that even on the, the mini third anniversary stream, which was actually my anniversary last week, that I had people to hang out with. And to know that if I were to invite them, they'd be there without, without a second thought. Um, very lucky to have that. So I would say that's probably my biggest accomplishment as well to be able to maintain all those relationships and doing my best while, while that's going on. Um, I would like to do more animations. Maybe not, maybe not like true animations, but little, little things that I could do my art with. Duh, yeah, yeah, I know, so sweet. See, I won't, I'm not here to be suspicious. No suspicious behavior, okay? I'm creating a poll. What do you mean you're making a poll? <laughs> what? What? What is this poll? Huh? <laughs> do you believe me or not? Uh, it's true. It really is true. And I could spend the entire stream gushing about that also, but I, I really am thankful for that because I, I feel that having this type of foundation and people to surround myself with and know that I can reach out to people um, and not feel like there's connections and strings attached is a rare, rare thing. Disconcerting decisions. My God, y'all, what did I do to you? <laughs> what did I do to you to, to, to be the suspicious of me? Oh my God, I... I'm not that person, okay? We're we're a completely different skin suit now. Right being sweet. Oh, can I can I can I be a part of this poll? Duh. Suspicious? No. Be gushy too, guys. I'm a be gushy also. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> um but yeah, I I think it's good. Good foundation. Good to work with. But then it's like, well, like, hey, I have a, I've caused a rift somewhere. And it's so sad that people just won't know because I couldn't save that stream. I mean, I have that stream. It's still here on Twitch. But the only way that they'd find out about that is if they watched it on Twitch. I did not, I did not save it on YouTube. And I don't think I can put it up on YouTube. Technically, I mean, I can't. I'm not a part of a company or anything, and it would be kind of funny, but... Uh, it's just it's just too much copyrighted content in there and I'm straight up murdering them. <laughs> so uh, I don't think we can do that you know it's probably it's still funny but I still can't do that you can watch it on Twitch though I'm just saying <laughs> I yeah uh, it's still so suspicious it's so hilarious it's like deep lore at this point. Can you, I, I still think it's, I feel like it was so long ago, but technically that was just two years ago, right? Has it been two years? I guess it's been a long time now. Too bad it doesn't show the polls, that's true. You guys were fighting it out on the polls. Um, and I, I've been trying to think of ways to recreate that because I feel like the viewer points is so, 
so underutilized. I've been trying to think of other ways to use them. I know people use it for like pets or to highlight messages or to throw things, I guess, at the streamer, but I don't really like all those major distractions. I don't know about you guys, but apparently just streaming with your model with no overlay is raw dogging the stream. That's what they called it. And I'm sitting here going, what? That's just what it's always been. It's always been that way. What do you mean raw dogging the stream? But like, I did not, I'm, I've never really liked overlays over on games. The chatting screams, screams, screens make sense because literally all I'm doing here is just standing here yapping away. And you want to have like a nice background while you're doing so, I suppose. And then also like the chat so you could see, but for me, I've never been one to use a lot of overlays. I don't really like them. And then I don't like things too distracting. I don't know if it's like ADHD or just some sort of like weird tick in me, but I've, <laughs> I, I, I get that people want to interact with the streamer and then have like some sort of effect on the stream itself. But those are just so distracting to me. They, they really are. And I've, as much as, I think it would be nice to implement them. I feel like I would just hate them, which is why I've never put them in. And it kind of makes me sad because it's like, those are the cool things. Those are cool things that I think would be cool to add in. I just don't think in particular, like all the typical stuff that people like using, they're not bad by no means. I just, I don't think I like them. So I've really been trying to think of ways to put them in there or not put them in there but like to put things in there that you guys can interact with and you guys can put up on stream but it's not distracting to the point that i would dislike them if that makes sense so i haven't figured out exactly how to go about about that just yet i've been messing with mix it up which is a sort of like bot that interacts with the stream. Usually it's implemented with VTube Studio and other things that are made for just like live 2D and stuff. But I think there's ways I can do it. I just I just have to get into coding to coding it in. So that's that's gonna be a little bit till I get there. But simple things like changing up overlays and whatnot, I I can do that. I can do that. I could do that at least a little bit. Like like what I did with the background here. Hey Momo, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for dropping by. Happy Saturday. Hope it's going well. Um So I'm like trying to think of other things I'd like to do. So with I, I don't I, I kinda am hesitant on putting up goals, okay? Because every single year that I've done goals, it just makes me kind of sad. <laughs> as, as, as awful as it is to say, um, streaming is really just a hobby. And I really don't see it going anywhere farther than a hobby. So I, I still want to express myself and work hard on just doing what I enjoy because I genuinely have a lot of fun with it. But as far as like getting somewhere with it, it's honestly been going nowhere. And I don't try to say it as a bad thing because in the end, it's a hobby. Um, but if it does go somewhere, cool. I, great, that means I'm developing a side gig and I would like to get to that point, which is why we're just chugging along at my own pace. Right, your only goal is more hedgehog. That's right. We, my only goal is to indoctrinate everybody in the sermon of a hedgehog and understand that the hedgehog is the ultimate life form, just as Shadow the Hedgehog has always been saying that he is the ultimate life form. And he was right. Back then, I was like, but you're just a dinky little hedgehog. Now I get it. I understand. If there was a church for a hedgehog, I'd be the number one tither, okay? I'd be the number one person in there singing hallelujah to a hedgehog because they they are just the ultimate life form. <laughs> so 
Sir, sir, I'm bleeding out. I don't feel so good. Ooh. Oh no. Drink water. Drink a lot of water. That's what I was saying earlier. Drink lots of water. Um, but yeah, I'm hesitant on making like a picture of goals, you know? Like before I used to do these images, right? Of here is my streamer goals. And it was cute. It was uplifting. It was never done. Everything that I listed on there never worked. And I think the reason why is because I was watching and I've, I've figured this out, but then the, the way that Masahiro Sakurai, the way that he, he phrased it on one of his videos, you know how on YouTube he uploads videos on how to create games, right? But he doesn't only do the game development side. He does things like surrounding the game development side, like your mental, how you should be approaching things, how you would deal with conflict in that type of setting, et cetera, et cetera. And one of them that he touched upon was like the mental of knowing that you're creating a project and trying to keep that to yourself. So he called that like internal pressure. It's like the buildup of heat, steam in a little teapot. You want to keep that internal pressure up so that way you feel more motivated to continue finishing your project. And then the way that he he touched upon it is that, let's just say you are that little teapot, that little kettle, right? Once you start explaining things out loud, the things that you plan to do, all that internal pressure is let loose like steam, like you take out the, the lid or you let it puff out, right? And once you talk about it, then it already feels like you fulfilled it when that's not true. It's like that instant gratification slash accomplishment that you put it out there. So therefore in your brain, it's already happened. Back then when I told you guys that I was making a comic, but then I would tell, I would say explicitly out loud, I'm not making a comic. And the way that I described it is I'm tricking my brain. I have to lie to my brain that I'm not doing this. So that way I can keep doing it. And I was able to lie to myself for at least eight months until eventually my brain got it. <laughs> and then when it caught up to me, that's when it died. Um, so that's why I feel so hesitant about sharing the goals that I have. Because if I say these certain things, I know I want to get them done, but I think I do better just keeping them to myself, building up that internal pressure until it's done, which is exactly what I accomplished with my project for today. Now, I told you guys I was not able to finish it last week, but it is now gone and gone. It's gold. It's gold now. Well, can I say silver at least? I know that's a weird way to ask, but it's the segue. Oh, yeah, I know. Look, guys, I'm so... Oh, it's like I've leveled up in my speaking. Oh, and I haven't even taken any class or watched enough YouTube videos to know how this works. But Oh, I'm so good. Be proud of me. But anyway. <laughs> I... I, uh... I finished it. I finished the project. And... I'm so excited to show you guys, except I, I'm also overheating right now. I turned on my heater because I was so freaking cold earlier. I was having the chills. Now I'm too hot. So give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to freeze myself and then we'll, we'll boot it up and finally show you guys what I've been working on. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. What do you mean killed the dinosaurs? What do you mean killed me? No, I, I'm here, I'm here. I'm gonna take a drink because drinking water is good. 
you know what? Actually, everybody, if you have water with you, take a drink right now. Or, or any drink for that matter. It doesn't matter to me. Just take a drink in celebration at the fact that we're here, okay? At the fact that we've hit this point where it's been three years of us just hanging out and having a good time. I think that deserves a drink. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to drink this boiling hot lava. That's a hot drink. Can you imagine? Would it be crunchy? Or would it be like eating hot fudge? Or drinking hot fudge? Do you think... Do you think that's what it would taste like? If, if you don't die, right? Celebratory spicy ramen. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So. Are you ready? There isn't music at the start of this, but I kind of did that on purpose. Here we go. Look, guys. Welcome. To Happy Hospital. We're gonna be- we're gonna be playing a game. We're gonna be playing a game. It's called Happy Hospital. And you guys will be using your points. You guys will be using your points to pick your ending. Now there are there are certain points that I'll just be like casually I'm gonna save right here because I don't know what y'all are gonna pick. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're 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 just gonna try to try to get the ending, okay? A ending, whichever ending that you guys decide to pick. <clears throat> but true, true to myself, you know what? I've been playing so many visual novels, right? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been like consistently playing visual novels, so it was time. It was time to make you guys play a visual novel, all right? Because y'all have just been watching me voice act everything and pick everything and then watch my downfall. So now it's time for me to do that to y'all, okay? You don't have to voice act. I'll voice act still. But you you guys make the decisions. This is your game. Okay? So. <clears throat> New game. New game. What did you eat today? Now you have the choice. Um, I don't really care what you guys pick. Uh, no poll. I just want you guys to tell me. What did y'all eat today? What is the closest thing that you've eaten today? <laughs> I'm prepared to aggro unconditionally on someone for a small reason. Lasagna. Lasagna. Nothing. <gasps> Yo, no, you need to eat, buddy. Pizza. Oh my god, everybody has something different. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, we'll we'll go we'll go for the first one then. Nothing. <gasps> Holy moly, everybody go eat. Never mind, drop the string, go eat. <laughs> Closest thing is a pizza. Oh man. We'll, well, we'll just go with the first answer, okay? Lasagna. So everybody can blame Terry if something bad happens because she, because she picked lasagna. Okay, I have the ramen. Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Too late. We're locked in. Lasagna. So you ate lasagna today, huh? Yeah, you, you ate you ate lasagna. That lasagna you downed under a minute after your eight hour shift hasn't been sitting well for the past hour. Mm. It's just been gurgling in your stomach. Soon you find yourself retching over the toilet. It's terrible and exhausting. After two hours of dry heaving, you attempt to drink some water. The cycle starts all over again. Oh God, food poisoning. <laughs> It starts over. You can feel tears well up in your eyes as you wonder if there's anything at home that could help you. There's nothing. Nothing comes to mind. More tears well up as you decide to call your roommate to take you to the clinic. Your roommate drove you to the closest emergency room. Oh, it's Rye. <laughs> you live in a rather desolate part of town and all the urgent cares, cares were closed. This was a standalone ER you've never paid attention to. You've always just drove by it. 
Happy ER, it says outside in fluorescent white. Upon walking in, you're greeted with a jingle. Visit Happy ER, a happy dose of confident care. You sit down. The lobby is small, and the fluorescent lights above you make you feel dizzy. You glance around at the other patrons and see there isn't many of them. Hopefully, it wouldn't take long. The wait wasn't long, but it certainly felt like the longest in your life. By the time you make it to the stretcher, you feel another wave of nausea hit your head. You desperately reach for a vomit bag while your roommate fills in the nurse that just walked in. Once you stop retching, the nurse turns towards you. So this started this evening. Any other symptoms you're aware of? No, you say. You manage to croak out and answer weakly. Are you allergic to any medications? Not that you know of. Not gonna lie, happy emergency sounds like a medical scam. <laughs> Let me notify the doctor of what's going on. He'll round shortly after that. In the meantime, she rips open an alcohol pad packet and hands you the pad. Give it a sniff. Could help your nausea a little while you wait. She leaves. You sniff. You don't think it's helping, but the thought of it not helping seems to distract you enough. You begin to question your opinion of it. Has anybody ever told you guys about that that trick that when you're when you're feeling nauseous when you're feeling nauseous if you have like a little alcohol pad that you, they use to like wipe your skin and stuff like that apparently it works i've never tried it on a patient i've never tried it on myself but apparently it works you haven't heard of that yeah so if if for whatever reason, you're in the hospital and nothing's working, apparently sniffing an alcohol pad, just, I don't know, ask a nurse, ask a staff member, hey, can I have an alcohol pad? Do you sniff that junk? Apparently it's supposed to help. I've never tried it. I've heard it helped. And I've heard other nurses also recommend that to patients as well. But me too. I, I question it. Reset button? <laughs> It won't kill you, but it's just, it's interesting. I, I don't know how that helps. Would, would sniffing alcohol, like straight up rubbing alcohol, do you think that would help your nausea? I don't know. That, the nurse is asking the question too. I'm just crazy, but I just, I don't, I don't see how that correlates or how that works. That, that's so bizarre to me. Anyway. You watch a gangly, scruffy doctor walk in. He has a weird gait. He kind of walks with like a, a strange limp. It's not really a limp though, he just walks weird. And you feel somewhat concerned about the way he's hunched over. His hair is wiry and drapes the sides of his long, long face. You're still feeling nauseous. Yeah. And you want to throw up. I think I vomited everything I had. The doctor glances at the nurse who followed behind him. Another staff member with gray scrubs squeezes by them and makes their way to your side. Hey, I'm the ER tech for the night. I'm going to place an IV in your arm real quick. You're not afraid of needles. Gladly, the tech was pretty good. It was quick and almost painless. You watch your blood flow out of the IV and fill into a syringe. There's now a neat IV sticking out the middle of your arm. It was enough to distract you as the nurse now returned with some medication. We're going to start with some Reglan and go from there. In the medication goes. Whoop, just pushes it in. You know that it just entered your body, but you quietly beg for it to quickly work. Let's give it some... 15 to 20 minutes. I'll come back around and see how you're doing then. You nod and watch her leave. After, your roommate walks back into the room. Did they give you the good stuff? 
they better. I'm tired of vomiting. No kidding. That's all I could hear tonight. Oh, your poor roommate. <laughs> Which I think you'd feel bad if you heard your roommate just vomiting and hurling nonstop for like hours straight. Oh, I'd honestly be scared too. Hub you see you stand hands. Hand sanitizer to stay awake? Really? Oh, that's interesting. It sounded like you were dying. He pauses and raises his brows at you. Maybe you are dying. <laughs> you roll your eyes at him. All you could do is wait. I mean, hopefully you're not dying. <laughs> you close your eyes. Wow, thanks. <laughs> You dozed off for a moment. What wakes you is the stir of someone entering your room. It's the scruffy doctor again. How are you feeling? A little better? Your labs came back. You're very dehydrated. So I suggest some IV fluids and maybe an overnight stay. An overnight stay? You didn't think it was that bad. You could stay overnight. We could provide you medications to keep your nausea at bay. You'll likely be released in the morning after we, we recheck your labs. They want our organs. No, they don't. <laughs> or you can go home. See, you can go home. You'll need to eat and drink, though, guys. Especially the ones who answered nothing. <laughs> you think about his offer. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to save because now... We're hitting the point where I, I'm going to pretend to say that your, your decisions matter. So let's just, do you want to? And these are going to be quick. So do you want to leave or do you want to stay is your options for this. I'm going to give you guys a minute to vote. And this is just a precursor of... Kind of what I expect um, for the rest of these options to go. No money for medical bills? <laughs> All right. So you can leave or you can stay. Context clues from the no food options. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh boy. We are sitting at 50-50. Oh, oh. Are we staying? Are we staying? Or we can go home and just drink a bunch of water. You're just a little bit better. Democracy wins. <laughs> we get debt ridden. All right, I guess we're staying. So you decide to stay for the night. SMH. <laughs> You're hesitant on staying. You can't imagine the bill. But you also can't imagine returning to that painful state of vomiting nonstop. I think I'd like to stay. If it's just for one night. All right, we'll get you admitted then. Admitted where? We have an inpatient unit here. It's a small facility, but at least you won't have to leave the neighborhood. I heard democracy. It's a different type of democracy. Why? Don't get too excited. There, there ain't no bugs in this one. <laughs> the doctor leaves, and you're left with an unexpected reveal of there being an inpatient unit here. The building seems small from the outside. It didn't seem big. It didn't seem big enough. Regardless, after 45 minutes, you're being wheeled to the inpatient unit. I like fighting the bots more. Ah, well, there's no bots in here either, unfortunately. Or is there? Unless. Just kidding. There, there's none. Spoilers, but there's none. <laughs> the ER nurse escorts you to your room. Once there, she leaves while you walk in. The room is modest and neat. It's set up for one patient. The bed has a pillow and its blankets rolled back for you to crawl into. The exit door is to the left of the bed, so over here. The bathroom is directly to your right, where you cannot see. 
There's a strong fluorescent light above. It illuminates the entire room. Strong lights are still bothersome to your eyes, and you glance around to see which switch turns off the biggest light. Before you could switch off the lights, the door to your room opens. Hello. Did you need some help? Mm, yeah. I wanted to turn, so turn off some lights. Is this the switch? Yes. Is it okay if we turn it off after a quick assessment? You realize this must be your nurse for the night. Assuming it's quick, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that's fine. Do you need me to sit down? Yes, please. As you sit down, you notice she has a pen and clipboard in her hand. I'll be your nurse tonight. Nice to meet you. The assessment goes by pretty quick. I was going to say something, but then I decide not to. You cover your history and verify some information. Just making sure you got all your ducks in a row, everything's in check. She listens to your heart and lungs, feels for your pulse, and checks that your IV looks good. Once that's all done, she goes ahead and turns off the lights for you. There's three things I need you to follow tonight. You nod intently. First, call if you need any assistance. There's a call bell button to your left. If you need a water refill or your nausea gets bad again, hit the button. I'll be alerted. Second, make sure you wear these socks if you're going to get up for anything. Even when you're using the restroom or just walking around in the room. It's just a safety precaution. Never know what you might be stepping on. Third, try to drink throughout the night. You're dehydrated, so even sips while you're awake can go a long way in getting you where you need to be. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions, guys? Which questions would you like to ask the nurse? <laughs> Could you repeat that again? Could you repeat the instructions again? Will I get discharged in the morning? Could I get something to eat? Or you're good. What, what do you guys want to ask her? Can I get a burger? All right. Could I get something to eat? It's probably best to give your stomach a break after everything you've been through. You know what? Is that a reference? <laughs> and now, I, and now I'm just realizing that. Is this a reference from our audio drama that we had a long time ago? Where we had the Asian mom asking for <laughs> food for his, her, her child. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's good. That's good. All right. It's probably best to give your stomach a break after everything you've been through. Don't want to start another round of nausea and vomiting, right? Right, guys? You guys don't want to continue being nauseous. So no no eating. And you you, you defeatedly say right, because the nurse is right. But you can drink water for now. We want you to be hydrated. Okay. You have any questions? Anything else would you like to ask? Would you would you like to ask anything else before we move on? If I'm a die, at least I'll have food. <laughs> would you guys like to ask her anything else? Will we be allowed to leave? I think I'm good. Discharge, okay. Will I get discharged in the morning? It's hard for me to say right now. We'll collect your labs again in the morning. And if the doctor rounds early after seeing the results, you likely can go home after. Do you have any questions? I think we already asked everything. Do you guys need a repeat of the instructions, by the way? Do, do, or are you good? You guys got it down. No repeat. All right. All right. I think we'll we'll move on. Okay, you should be in the system now, so I'll finish up your admission. We have no need of Ocarina of Time, Owl. <laughs> Remember, call if you need anything, okay? Now you're left alone in the dim room. You no longer feel as nauseous, but you're worried any sudden movements may trigger it again. You adjust the bed to prop up your head at an angle before laying down. It's not the most comfortable, but it'll do. You close your eyes and hope to get some rest. It's dark and quiet. You're sleepy, but not quite as sleepy yet. You look around. Okay, 
So now you guys get choices. Um, I know that the, where's the chat? Move you guys over here. Cause I don't think there's anything that appears on this side too much. All right. What do you guys want to do? Redeem, take a drink. All right, grubs, let's, let's drink, take a drink. <laughs> you drink some water. There you go. Every, all, all of that's good. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and have you guys click the call button. The water is probably not water. What? Guys, it's just water. Socks? You want to put on socks? Okay. You pick up the socks at the end of the bed and slip them on. Have you guys ever worn these socks? I, I kind of hope not because that means you've been in the hospital. But these are actually pretty comfy socks. <laughs> and, and the grip works pretty well too. Please, please wear your hospital socks. The floors are slippery and if you fall, then we all fall, okay? You fall on the ground, we fall in a bunch of paperwork, so don't do it. Wear your socks. <laughs> you were feeling cold anyway. It is pretty cold in the hospital. Okay, now you have little socks. Let's just go ahead and hit the call button. You feel for the call button in the dark. You don't need anything right now, but you're just making sure it's there. I've had it so many times where patients accidentally hit the call button and then we're like, hello, your light's on. How can we help you? And they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to click it. And those, whenever I hear those, I'm just like, ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she says she'll watch us fall, but chooses for us anyway. <sighs> no, I will not watch you fall. I do not want you to fall. So thank you for putting on your socks. Really, truly. You fall back asleep pretty easily. You awaken to the sound of something moving in your room. By the time you open your eyes, you only see a shadow at the door. They don't stick around long and gently close your door. You're left alone with your thoughts. Okay. So, you guys want to drink water? Say yes or no. This one we're not going to pull for. You want to drink water? Yes or no? Drink water? I hated when they did that. Negative? No! <laughs> Stand up! Oh, okay, okay. I like how Grubs is using, like, the other options to, to, <laughs> to, to do all of these things. Okay, never mind. Since you guys are so torn, do you drink? Let, let your points speak for you now. Yes or no? I can't believe. So ununanimous. Everybody has an opinion. So y'all can decide. Do you want to drink? Yes or no? You can spend one extra point to vote some more if you would like. But you have a minute. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> huh? Oh? Why are y'all fighting about the water? <laughs> no, guys, drinking water is good. If anything, this should just like be, uh, be the whole entire slogan for tonight. Just drink water. I'm actually going to drink a water because I'm actually pretty thirsty. The fighting for real. Okay. you you guys are drinking water. 69%. Nice. With 202 votes. Nice. We're so dead. No. <laughs> All right, let's drink water. You drink some water. You feel more hydrated. Cost me almost 200 points, but worth it. Oh, okay. And because Grubs got the, uh, the stand up 500, we'll get up. You feel like you have to pee. You place your feet on the floor and feel the rubber of the socks grip onto the tile below. Slip proof socks, a staple of all hospitals to prevent falling. You use the restroom without issue and return to bed. Nice. Okay. I know we already drank water. Ignore that. That's 
Don't look at that. What else do you guys want to do? Do you, do you guys want to call? I guess we could do... He want to drink more water? <laughs> um, you guys can call, you guys can sleep, or you guys can pretend to sleep. Um, but, alright. Do you want to call? Are you feeling... Actually, here's a question. Are you still feeling nauseous? All right, here we go. Yes or no? If you are feeling nauseous, we're gonna use the call button. If you're not feeling nauseous, then we're just gonna skip. It's already been three hours, or it's technically, let's just say it's been six hours since you've been in the hospital. You've already been in the ER for three, and then they finally admitted you, and it's already been a whole six hours. Are you feeling nauseous again? Yes or no? I can't believe about the number changes. That's crazy. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Somebody's like being crazy on the numbers. What is this? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I don't even know who's going to win. This is actually kind of close. Hmm? Somebody's fighting. <laughs> oh, wow. That burst at the end. Okay. Are you still feeling nauseous? That's a yes. So we're going to call. You feel for the call button in the dark. Another wave of nausea hit you, and you can't seem to get comfortable. You press the button, and after a few minutes, you hear a voice behind you. Your call light is on. How can I help you? Can I get something for my nausea? Sure. Just give me a few minutes, and I'll be in there. After a few minutes, indeed. The nurse walks in and turns on a dim light. Hello, I got a medication for your nausea. May I see your IV? She reaches for the IV in your arm and begins pushing a syringe into it. Is that the medication? No, it's just saline. Gotta make sure your IV is patent and working first. You know, we don't want it to be infiltrated or blocked in some way and potentially the medication won't get to you. So, you know, we got to check it. But this right here, and she wags the needle like a, a syringe with a needle saw on top of it. This is Zofran. She pulls out a small syringe with some liquid in it and pushes into your IV. After she pushes the other half of saline into, or bleh, I can't even read. After, after she pushes the other half of saline into your IV, just to make sure it's all in there. It won't work immediately. But hopefully you feel better after. Thank you. You're welcome. She turns off the light and leaves. I know we just drink water. But don't don't ignore it. That's actually not supposed to be there too. Okay, guys. Do you guys... This is actually where I'm going to save. <laughs> you want to drink water again? Okay, here's more water. <laughs> Pretend to sleep. No, no, no. This one, I'm gonna sleep or no sleep. Sleep or pretend. Now, this one, this one's gonna be five points per vote for a minute. You guys can decide. Do you guys want to sleep or pretend to sleep? If you drink water 13 times, you unlock the secret <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh no. Oh, maybe. <coughs> oh wow. Is this the first unanimous vote? Is this something everybody agrees with? I like how you guys are still you're still voting on there. <laughs> Y'all, I, I think you got this. I think you got this in the back. Calm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, y'all just don't want to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. Why are you not sleeping? Who is going ham? I don't know. I feel when they think I trust them. 
<laughs> okay. You pretend to sleep. You win. Sheesh. Okay, here we go. You pretend to sleep. You're not entirely sleepy yet, so you simply close your eyes to rest. You're not sure if time is going by quickly or slowly. Oh, I actually hate that feeling that you could just see time drag on, but then at the same, at simultaneously, it doesn't, it, it's not dragging on. I like it when it goes slowly. I actually hate it when time goes slowly. But then I also equally hate it when it's going too fast. I don't, I, I don't know. And anything just feels bad. That way I get more sleep during the morning. I get, actually, I get anxious. I get anxious if it's like slow towards the time that I have to wake up. Never mind. I guess I just don't like things going slow. After a while, you feel like something has changed your surroundings. Maybe you're dreaming. Jump out the window. <laughs> you, you take a quick peek. Something's definitely strange. You have to be dreaming. Your curiosity gets the best of you. You peek again for a better look. Oh, hi Mew, welcome. Took too good a look, uh, of a look. You immediately shut your eyes. Something is watching. It feels like it's getting closer. You feel the presence linger next to your bed. You <laughs> slit the ass with <laughs> the ivy. <laughs> you feel the presence linger next to your bed. It stare burning into you. Okay, guys, here's here's a new poll. Ready? Your eyes. Do you open your eyes? Or keep closed? No fear. All right, again, you, you this is this is five. You can vote. No fear. <laughs> Okay, do you keep them open or you keep them closed? Or not keep them open. You open your eyes or you keep them closed? In the words of, of uh, the great words of Zelda, open your eyes. Oh. Oh my gosh. Another unanimous vote? Crazy. Crazy. Y'all are just going all in. I think y'all can chill. Nobody's gonna contest. The 55, 58 votes. I, I will laugh out of, like, so hard if out of nowhere it just suddenly shoots up to 80. Uh-oh, somebody's contesting you guys. I'm trying to make you nervous. <laughs> somebody's contesting y'all. Who, who, who did the one vote? Who did it? <laughs> Hit 100. 104. Oh, man. 385. Momo, you crazy. Which one of y'all was it? <laughs> okay. Well, y'all choose to open your eyes. So here we go. You open your eyes slightly to see. It's standing in your room, looming at the side of your bed. It's just looking at you. You feel sick to your stomach. The pressure in the room increases. You can help- you can hear yourself breathe. You can hear it breathe. You're awake again. Strangle it with the IV. <laughs> you're you're awake again. You're still shaken up by what you saw earlier. Were you hallucinating? Was it a side effect from the medication earlier? You no longer feel nauseous, which is good. But now you're a little anxious. Probably you'd feel better getting up and walking around. What do you want to do? Do you guys want to drink? I feel like we've drank so much though. Do you guys want to drink? Drink. Yes 
or no? Since y'all are fighting about this one, sheesh. <laughs> Not for long. It is time to leave. I want to shrimp. Oh, you guys are so good. You're hydrating so well. Oh my god. Bless it. Uh oh, somebody's contesting y'all. I was about to take a drink and then I see somebody making y'all nervous. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, sheesh. Who's fighting? Somebody's fighting. I need a shrimp choice. There's no shrimp choice. There's no shrimp in the hospital. Let them fight. <laughs> Wait, they're fighting. Oh, y'all are cl so close. Oh, y'all are so close. Oh, 570 tail points, Effie? Crazy. We drank. Okay, Effie, were you were you saying no? I was voting no and you oh <laughs> Okay. Well well, the people say they want to drink. You drink some water. Someone must have refilled the water while you were sleeping. Okay. Now here here's another one. So, what do you want to do? Do you guys want to still- do you, guys, do you guys just want to sleep it through or do you want to get up? We're, we're upping the points now. We're gonna go up for 10, 10, 10 orders per vote, okay? You guys have one minute. He's so dead. <laughs> the fighting was a gunshot so we heard a jeepney simulator stop. <laughs> oh, y'all want to get up? Y'all don't want to sleep? It's like 4 a.m. in the morning. Or sorry, like, what is it? Is it 3 a.m.? I don't even know. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. in the morning. Why are y'all not going to bed? Get up and go pee. You already went to go pee. Y'all went to go pee earlier. They went up to go pee for you. So your bladder is empty. It's all good. I'm about to shit myself. No. We have a bladder problem. <laughs> we must leave the hospital. <laughs> it's never empty. Always full. Oh, sheesh. Well, I mean, it looks like y'all want to get up. Nobody's contesting you there. So, okay. We're getting up. Don't mind me saving. You get up. You feel restless. You want to get up and walk around. You swing your legs over the, uh, the bedside and feel the rubber grip onto the floor below. You stand up and walk around a little bit in your room, hoping it'll soothe your nerves. You don't need to pee. You typically don't stay at the hospital, so it's getting to you a little bit. As you pace around, you see the light of the hallway outside peeking under the crack of the door. An idea jumps into your mind. Okay, I'm too lazy to write down questions now. Do you want to stay in your room? Or do you want to go outside? Flee. <laughs> oh. Again, this is going to be 10 points. Pee? You already went to go pee. Literally an hour ago. Why do you have like granny bladder? You're the type of patient who's like, oh God, I have to go pee, but I need to call the nurse every single time I go. And then it's like literally every hour. And then you're like, ma'am, I'm gonna go pee. I'm gonna disconnect myself. And we're like, it's okay, ma'am, go ahead, go and pee. Do you feel dizzy? No, ma'am, I don't feel dizzy. Okay, well just call if you need any help. You know, there's a call button in your bathroom, right? Yeah, ma'am, I know. And then you just do that every hour. I pee every hour at night. That's no, Mew, that sucks. No. I remember being mortified when I hit the age. I don't remember when. I think it was like 20, was it 27? When there was a, where, there was a point in time 
where I actually needed to pee in the middle of my sleep. And I never done that before. I've never done that before. It was like clockwork. Every time at one o'clock, I would have to go pee. And it pissed me off so bad. We're going outside. Um, okay, you're, you're going outside. <laughs> you walk over to the door of your room and touch the handle. After a deep breath, you open the door. You want to leave. The hallway looks strange. You look to your right. There's a nurse's station. It doesn't seem like the nurse is present, though. You look to the left. The hall ends with a door to the outside with an exit sign above. You take another deep breath and make your way to the exit. Where are you going? You pause, caught in the middle of your escape. You're not sure whether to turn around or book it, but before you could, someone appears in front of you. Did you need something? Uh... This person. Did she work here? She doesn't look like the staff around here. No one is around to confirm it, though. Is something wrong? She slinks up to your side curiously, eyeballing you, assessing the situation. I will not be cold. Choke her out. Do you want to talk or do you want to run? She got the vampire teeth. Y'all. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you want to talk to... Do you want to talk to her? Or do you want to run? And before... Before that, I mean... I better save. <laughs> Flee. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, you can choose to talk to her, you can run. Gets the popcorn. <laughs> oh, it seems like they want to talk to her. Oh, okay. I guess we're talking. Oh my god, that is so close. 53 to 51? Yo, that was so close. <laughs> she would chase our asses. Probably. All right, let's talk to her. You were caught in the middle of your act. Wavering in your mission. You, you start talking. Um, which one do you guys want to say? Well, actually, no. This one you actually have... Yeah, um, I, I'm gonna make this a poll too. Because if if I remember right, you are or not, or you deny. Do you question her or or do you just deny everything that you were gonna do? Pick, pick. I get the broom. Um, the broom is actually to the right. You're gonna have to go to the janitor's closet, the custodian closet, which is actually to the right. Uh, but you need to go to the front desk and ask, ask them for the keys to the janitor's closet. I need a broom option now. Hold up. I'm telling you, you gotta go to the front desk. I'll be right back. Go to the closet. <laughs> Stab her with the IV. <laughs> All of us are just little bracelets trying to steer the sinking ship. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, man. You guys are getting close. Oh, I guess you ask. All right. You are... She smiles. Hi, I'm Rai. Nice to meet you. Hi. Do you work here? I do. 
She doesn't elaborate. You are concerned. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What? Or run? Doppelganger that ain't Captain. <laughs> do you, do you, do you still talk to her or do you run? Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god. I broom her! Huh? Why are y'all running? Why are y'all running? Stop running! It's so unanimous! Why are y'all running? <laughs> No, guys! Why are y'all running? Mm. Don't you see her eyes? This puppy dog eyes are a sign of terror. <laughs> Rumor! Oh my god! Yo, Grubs! <laughs> she scares me! <gasps> no. Okay, I guess y'all run. You don't feel safe. Something comes over you. Breaking away from the girl, you run as fast as you can. The exit is, the exit is inches from your hand until... You can't run. That's elopement, guys. That's elopement. You can't run from the hospital. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> She drugged us! No! Why are y'all running? What? <laughs> Sheesh. Y'all decided to run. Okay, guys. End of the game. End of stream. Bye. <laughs> Why do I need to trust her? You don't need to trust her. So what is this elopement? That is... That is, uh, the, the term, the term we use for people who decide to run from the hospital. I knew it. See? <laughs> she chased the, you know what you did? And actually this real, real talk. This is actually a real story. We've had a patient who's ran out of our hospital, but she was also kind of crazy. Um. I'm not going to tell you why, but she she was crazy. And then she she ran out, but outside of our hospital is a highway. And she went straight for the highway. It was bad. <laughs> it was it was very bad. So you know what you did? You ran out and got ran over probably because why why are you running? I get a Elden <laughs> Ring death though. <laughs> Because it was easy. It was an easy asset to make. Death before dishonor. We lost our chances to run three hours ago. We dropped before we reached the door. Well, that's true. Maybe she just threw you out there. Anyway, do you guys want to... Do you guys want to keep playing? That was one of the bad endings. Running is a bad ending. If that's not obvious. <laughs> Okay. All right. Here we go. We, we can talk to her. You were caught in the middle of your act, blah, blah. I know you guys want you are. I'm Rye. She doesn't elaborate. We got spared from the hospital bill. Okay. Um, since you guys already did the run option, we're, we're just going to ask her, what does she do? You don't look like a staff member. Okay, you just call her out. I'm here to take care of you, of course. Your face says you don't believe me, though. Yeah. It's hard to believe. I, I think you just killed me. Because I tried to run away and I just died. Maybe I've altered mental status. Your report didn't say anything like that, though. 
Are you confused? Can you tell me your name and your birthday? No. I'm not confused. Next time she turns around, hit her with the next up. <laughs> then where were you going? Yeah, guys. Where were you going? I know we could hit the run option again. <laughs> the little part of me just wants to wants to to have you guys vote, but it's you you already know what happens when you run. I needed to walk around. Run is so funny. <laughs> Okay, I need to walk around. Oh. I guess that's fine. I'll walk with you. Can I walk outside? No. Wait, I need to. I need to smile also. <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Oh no. I didn't know that button would do that. Anyway, let me read it back on the backlog because it skipped all of that the dialogue. So anyway, she said no. It's a firm no. No questions about her tone. We can walk up and down the hallway though. The two of you walk quietly the opposite direction from the exit door. Despite the initial confrontation, she, se she seems less strange as the time goes on. The atmosphere is less tense. So now you can choose to, to talk to her. So... We're gonna do multiple. Um, talk or no talk. And then I'm actually gonna make you guys pick anything. Is it busy? You can ask, is it busy? It's so quiet. Do you have a boyfriend? Cause I don't know why so many people ask me if I'm married, but too many people ask me if I'm married and I, I, I don't know why, but that seems to be like natural talk between people. All right, you guys have 50 votes. Choose wisely. <laughs> Which one do you want to go for first? Let her talk run while she's distracted. <laughs> Wait, somebody's contesting y'all. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, here we go. Y'all are competing. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's a tie. Is it busy or don't talk? It's okay, we can do both. We'll start out with is it busy? You look around as you walk. It doesn't seem like there's much going on. Is it busy? right now. It was a little busy earlier. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. I was running around everywhere. The ER was nuts. But it's calmed down now that the patients were transferred out. Hopefully they're still breathing. She's smiling. Ominous. Okay. And then because we, we also had a tie for don't talk, we're, we're just not gonna talk. You stop talking with her. Focus on getting your nerves out. After a few rounds around the nurse's station, you return to your room. There you go. Uh, thanks. Is there anything else I could do for you? You can't think of anything at the moment and shake your head. Alright, we'll be, sure, we'll be sure to ring the bell if you do. Good night. She's gone just as the light shut off around you. The adrenaline from trying to leave wears you out. You go to sleep. You got some rest. Now that you're awake, you see a shadow peering around the corner at you. It's kind of cute. 
Good morning. Did you get some sleep? Somewhat. Are you doing okay? More or less. That's good. Anyway, it's time for me to take your blood. Huh? Take, take, take my blood? For your labs. She holds up a little device with a visible needle at the end. Is it all right with you? Yeah, I guess. Awesome. She lowers the bed railing next to you and kneels down as she sets down an assortment of tubes, gauze, and some alcohol pads. She wraps a tourniquet around your arm, inspecting your forearm for veins. As she palpates your arms, like a smile gradually grows on her face. Amazing. You must have drank a lot. Your veins are very nice and healthy. You're not sure how to respond to that. Are you thankful or weirded out? She makes quick work at finding a vein and poking it with a needle. You can see the blood immediately flow from the tubing, suctioning itself into a tube with a purple top. Then follow the green top to be filled. You blink and find the needle is already out of your arm without an issue, a folded gauze pad now taking its place. She pops the tourniquet off your arm and gives it a rub. All done. Is there anything else I could do for you right now? Nothing comes to mind. You're just sleepy. I don't think so. If you could turn off my lights, though. Sounds good. And just like that, she was gone. You could feel a little prick in your arm, but it wasn't too bothersome. You sleep, hoping time would go by faster. You can see the light flickering through the blinds of the window. The sun was rising. Strangely, this time, you felt like you got some good sleep. You half expected someone to come in again, but for the whole hour, nothing happened. New staff greet you at 7, the doctor sees you at 8, and by 9, the nurse hands you discharge paperwork. You walk out alongside your roommate, feeling refreshed. The night was long, and a little strange. You have some questions, but it didn't matter now. No more nausea. No more needles, you might have some debt, but at least you're feeling good. You were going home! Yay! You got the good ending! Woo! Thank you for playing! We're dreaming right now. <laughs> no, you're not! Well, anyway. Congrats, guys. You guys finished Happy Hospital. Yay! And actually, this game will be available to play. On itch. Uh, after this stream, I'm gonna publish it on itch. It should be available to be downloadable and also to be played in browser. So if you would like to play it yourself, then you can. You can, and you don't even need to download it. You could just play it on the browser. I, I will share. I will share the link. Um. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should... I don't know. Should I share it on Twitter or should I just put it live now? Because technically it's available. I just have to publish it. So, you know what? I'll do it right now. Uh, what do you guys think? Did you guys like my little game? I could search for the hidden attack option. Oh, boy. Uh, that's That's actually what I've been working on for the past month on my off days, on and off. So, congrats. You guys finished it. Yay! How'd you guys like it? Did you like my little game? And then while you guys are answering that, let me make this go public. So that way I can give y'all the link. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think I was working on this for maybe a total of 60 hours. There is some bugs that may have may not be as obvious. But I, I'm thinking of dedicating a stream to fixing up a certain hour. One of those hours is so ugly as far as coding goes that I need to fix. That was fun. We're gamers now. Yeah, you are. All right. Um, if you guys would like to save that for later, that is the link to, to it. It should already be published and you should be able to play it or download it. So yeah, how about it? Um, if you run into any super game-breaking bugs, like for whatever reason you are completely just locked out or unable to move on ahead, the only one that I think might do that to you is, is 
is the socks option. But because you guys listened and you put on your socks, you guys didn't fall and died a brutal death on the floor. So, <laughs> well, time to learn how to code combat. Oh my God. Well, if you can, I'd be impressed. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I, I spent maybe like 60-ish hours working on this. So I had fun. All of the assets were drawn, um, except for the emergency room, like the actual hospital room and then the emergency sign, but everything else I, I drew and then, or I took a picture of, of my hospital when there was no patients. I just kind of took a picture of the backside, but shh, you only heard that from me. And then music I got out of Odologic. I pretty much use them for almost everything. And the death screens are, should uh, the, the image creator should be linked in there too. I use those. So yeah. Yay. We did it. That, that is what I've been working on. Gasp. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for playing and for using your points. I'm glad it's like a pick your own adventure, right? I, I wanted to do something like a pick your own adventure. Um, but now, but now it's time. This your lore video? Technically, every, every new model comes with a project and that was, that was her project. The fit is mad cute, by the way. Well, well, guess what? It's time. It's time for you guys to pull for your new skin. Let's just see if you can get it. You will. It's 100% guaranteed. It's a 100% guaranteed pull because you are here on the anniversary. The third anniversary for Rai. So, let's get it. All right, there you go. You got, you pulled for the Miss Hollow Heart Hedgehog. But honestly, I just, I shorten it to Hollow Hog because I think she's cute. You guys remember maybe like last year when I was like, man, I'd really like to make this an outfit, like for real, for real. Wow, these odds are so generous. I know. It's like, if you're just here on the day of, you immediately get it. Oh, I think I killed the music. It killed itself. That's okay. Anyway. Oh, never mind. I guess you're back. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I'm getting changed. I'm, I'm shedding my skin and putting on a new skin suit. Give me a sec. Did I have to spend money? No. This was a guaranteed pool. 200% guaranteed pool. Um, there's just a few things I need to adjust. Oh, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so trying to figure out how to use all these, but it's so fancy. Cross a lizard? <laughs> I'm not a lizard. I'm a hedgehog. What are you talking about? Okay. Y'all ready? I'm gonna turn off this music. It's cute music, though. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do the gotcha recruit again, but oh well. Anyway, here we are. Hello. New new skin, new me. We're back. And uh she she became 3D. She's a 3D girly now. <laughs> woo! Yeah, woo! Look at her. Looking good? Yes. Who is she? She's Rai. She's the little hollow hog. What do you think? You like the new skin? Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really, really proud of this model. I brought a repool! 
So who ate your ear? I don't know. I don't know, it just got chewed off for some reason. <laughs> New digital body, your reign has been uploaded into? Correct. Correct. That is correct. Um, but here, here's the whole look. You kind of already saw like the 2D, 2D full art. I'm also going to... Did I change the update box already? I didn't. Um, I'm like leaning so far. Where is the new update box? It should be right here. So we're actually going to update this now. Let me move that over here. Wait, is this the wrong one? That's the wrong one! Huh? Maybe... That's the wrong one. Where is it? Hello? That one's... Maybe it's this one. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> that's the old one! Never mind. Ah, I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. I'm putting up a poll. Rise new skin suit. What's this? Cute. Spooky. Cool. Vampire. No, not vampire. I'm a hedgehog. There's the stream scuff. I know. I'm like looking for... There's... There's a update... Oh. Oh. I just... I just need... I just named it update box. Wow. Turn off this one. There we go, new skin available. We have to, we have to show that off. Done, done. Anyway, let's, let's do a whole turnaround. This is my backside. So that way you can see. I was kind of, kind of like hesitant on putting like the two little strings, but I need help with the silhouette. I need to, to make sure that the silhouette's there. And then, Ass. No. <laughs> I do like the background. It's a cool background, ain't it? Anime. Anyway, um, new phases. Now she has a cute little smiley face. She goes from neutral, which is all right. To big old, to, to cute little smiley face. I can't get over the eyes. They're too strong. <laughs> And then, and then we have an angry face. You thought, you thought that, that, that face was just a 2D? No. This is, this is actually the real face. That's angry, that looks shocked. Oh, this is shocked. I wish I could pull out my hands, but I think I broke it. Because my hands won't pick up anymore. I'm not shocked. This is just like disgust. A disgust face. That's the face she made when she killed us in the hallway. There's actually one... There's one pose that you guys didn't get to see. But you guys will have to just play it. Purposely get the bad end. One of the bad ends. But uh... You, you, there's one other pose that you guys didn't see, which I thought was really good. <laughs> um, here's a sad one. You made her all sad. You didn't want to talk with her. You ran away with your first choice. Why'd you do that? Why'd you run away from me, huh? Don't you see I just want to take care of you? Why'd you run away? Not cry me a river. <laughs> I will not be tricked. We didn't run on the first choice. And then, and then of course, like all my other models, like all my other models. Why is her, her mouth's all messed up, but whatever. Ah, I shouldn't say it's really late, but I really want to get some sleep. Definitely get some sleep. <laughs> Uh, this one's a lot smoother on VC face, but since I'm using Warudo, it feels like it's even more broken.
but I I really like this face. It's it's good. I think the reason why is because it's like an additive. Beast over the room, <laughs> be gone. No, I'm I'm a good hog. But yes, she's so cute. I've been I've been so excited, so eager to finally show her off because I think she's adorable. She's really, really, really cute. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be using her. So I'll be jumping in between the third and the fourth, depending on what type of game we're playing. But for the most part, I'll be, I'll be trying to use this one more often just because she's so new and shiny. Heck yeah. Yeah, she's so cute. But all right, there we go. Um, as far as everything that I had planned for tonight, that's really it. She's a vampire. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. I'm, I'm a hog. I'm the hollow hog. Oh, you know what's so cool about this thing though? I was messing around with it earlier. Uh, and there is, it's, it's, it's not technically, okay. I feel like once it hits the burr, the burr months, people already already are just like it's it's halloween it's halloween so there's actually maybe when we do a little halloween stream we could use we could use this place it's really cute we could use this place as like a a background i just wish Rob, make me a 3D tuber. Okay, I will. I will learn. I will try. I'd like to. I'd like to learn. But yes, that that is. This is a really cool asset to use. Um, and then honestly, my new the the basic background. I know this is like all the 3D stuff, but if I decide not to use this background, then I could just. I could just use my original background using some plugins, new new plugins that I, I downloaded for OBS. Really cool stuff. Uh, yeah, big witch, witch it vibes. Yeah, it, yeah, that that three D space definitely gives a lot of witch it vibes for sure. Hedgehog or vampire? This is another poll. I'm I'm, I'm voting hedgehog. You can't beat me, guys. What? I can't vote twice? Let me vote. Let me vote. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what else do I have for you? A uh, new cover coming out next week. Suddenly, I know. I, I, I uh, last minute decided to cover a song. It doesn't have any, like, cutesy anything actually it doesn't have anything of my model or whatever but i'm i'm kind of it is it was a short song kind of impulsive at the moment so it'll be coming out next week um on the 14th september 14th before i uh, my last day of vacation a new new cover song will come out so look forward to that it's gonna be coming out on my youtube uh, i also put up a short which is like a, a little preview of what the song is. I don't expect anybody to really... Maybe maybe you come across the song, perhaps, but I, I liked it. It's like a ballad. So I tried. It's okay. I see you. I see what you tried to do. But people are convinced I'm a vampire. <sighs> I'm not a vampire, guys. I'm a hog. I'm a hog hog. I'm a hollow hog. And before people have allegations that I don't have an eye, you can clearly see I have two eyes, okay? Two eyes, I'm just lazy to draw the other eye, so you know. <laughs> Sorry, Rai, the people have spoken, you're a vampire over hedgehog? Ah, whatever. I know what I am. You guys don't define me, okay? You guys do not define me. I am a hog. Deep down. You got three yays, got it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, let me see. I think I already have a schedule ready for next week, so let me pull that up. 
Tomorrow, because I'm obsessed, we're playing more Atelier Ryza. I don't know what time. I already forgot what time I put down on there. But we're going to be playing more Atelier Ryza tomorrow. And then... Well, what even is my schedule? Where is it? There it is. Um, Monday, I'm not even sure if I'm going to stream. It's probably going to be more Ryza because I'm obsessed. Let me let me just pull this up. Oh, shoot. You're huge. I'll be uploading this sometime tonight. And then I have to go back to actually adjusting my life. So on Tuesday and Wednesday, I think I will just have those days off. Oh yeah, speaking of, I want to see your progress. Yeah, you'll see it tomorrow for sure. <laughs> because I kind of went insane. I, I, I held no reservations about being stuck in my menus for 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours of just hardcore menuing. So that's uh, what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, not 10 hours of menuing. 10 hours, like we're, we're going to actually do a story, but you guys are going to see what I've done. Um, I'm hoping on the 12th, Donut will be back. If she's not back by then, or if she's not prepared to, to stream Ace Attorney, then I will start on investigations. So that might be changing if Donut's not ready this week. If she is, great. If not, then then we could just play Investigations, which I really, really, really want to play. And then on the 13th... Oh my god, that's Friday the 13th? I didn't even realize. Um, but anyway, on the 13th, we're going to play Rose and Camellia, where I just slap a lot of women. And then whenever I successfully slap a woman or I dodge a woman, I'm just going to laugh the Ojo-sama laugh. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! She can't hit me! Ha 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 ha! And then that's the game. What? What? Yeah. Uh, that will be my first official Switch stream. I got a capture card for my Switch. So I'm going to try to make sure that my 3D model can pick up my hand movements because I want to see y'all see me slap people, okay? Why are you abusing people? Because they deserve to get slapped. All right, they deserve to get slapped. So that's happening on the 13th at 8 p.m. I'm going to be slapping women. <laughs> Please do not take that out of context. Yeah, I've joined the Switch Club. I have, but there's only like very select few games that I want to play on the Switch, and that's one of them. That that's that's one of them that I've always wanted to play, and now that it's on the Switch. Oh, heck yeah, I'm going to play. And the reason why I wanted to play it on the Switch is because you legitimately have to do like the slapping motion for it to pick up. So, yeah, we're, we're going to play that. Takes it out of context, please do not. Only take it out of context. Racy, she's going to slap it. Stop! <laughs> but for real, Rose and Camellia, I'm, I'm genuinely exci excited to play that. And then Saturday, unfortunately, will be my switch day. So I will be going back to work after this week. Uh, will not be as highly active as I was for the past two weeks, but that's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's got to be sometimes. Um, got to get that dough. Got to get that, that money because streaming doesn't do that for me. <laughs> Uh, but it's, I, I want to have fun this week too. Oh, night shift on Saturday? Nah. When I say night shift is calling, that means that I'm probably just going to rest that day. So that way I can adjust my sleeping because I have to, I have to get ready for work on Sunday. Um, but that's, that's the plan for this week. Everybody understand the assignment. Everybody understands. Everybody on the same boat. Uh, I need you to become famous. Girl, I would love to be. Like, 50-50. I'd want a good fan base. But then also, at the same time, I'd also like to be filthy rich. So we're, we're, we're gonna get there, eventually, at some point. <laughs> um, maybe, one day. We'll, we'll, we'll try our best. I also want to try to get out a video at some point. Maybe, hopefully, this week. There, I have a plans for a video, but this is... Every, everything that I put out on my YouTube is so highly specific for me. 
thank you guys for like liking and commenting and watching my stuff on there because that's actually bringing a lot of traction to my videos that I've never had before. Like I got lucky with a few videos before and I don't know if it's just, if it's just uh, the tags that I use or the songs that I covered or whatever, but thank you guys. I see your comments on there and it actually does make a difference um, with the interactions on YouTube. It's actually crazy how how big of a difference it is. So thank you for that. Uh, I would like to take out, do one more video. Maybe not release it this week, but I will be working on another one uh, for the following week. Just to, to keep it alive, I suppose. And it's, it's going to be highly specific for me. I'm going to talk about Pillow Fort. And the reason why I, this is like a huge... Well, not a huge deal, but something that is kind of like, I'm, I'm taking a risk, okay? I'm taking a risk making a video about Pillow Fort because I was talking with other people on there and they reminded me that some time ago, for whatever reason, YouTube was nuking all videos, all links, anything talking about Pillow Fort for a while. So I'm making a risk talking about it because I am curious if they're still nuking everything from it. That's that's what I'm, I'm curious about. Uh, and the reason why they, they were nuking things is because they consider Pillow Fort a porn site. Maybe I should have bleeped that out. Uh, a corn site, you know? But it really isn't. It just allows that stuff because they're, they're personally funded. Um, but that was before. I don't know how strong I don't I don't know how strong their stance is against it now because I found one video a year ago from a VTuber, mind you, talking about switching from Twitter to Pillow Fort. The sad part is when I clicked on all their links saying that they were gonna be active on Pillow Fort, they're all inactive. They all link to like dead links and I don't know what happened to that person. But it's still up. That video is still up. So I'm I'm taking a risk trying to develop this and see if I can actually do it. And if it's still up, then hey, awesome, great. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious. I'm honestly just curious that they still don't like it, you know? So if, if that video actually comes to fruition, if you watch it, great. If you don't, it probably was nuked off the face of the earth. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I just don't see Pillow Fort as a very active place. Every time I go on it, it just looks so dead. That is like the number one complaint everybody has, that it just looks so dead. But it's 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 likely because you just are not linked to the places that are actually alive. I, I'm not even paid to be shilling. To be shilling Pillow Fort like this. I just genuinely like it because everybody says that. Everybody says that it's genuinely dead, but that's not true. There is active users on there. It's really not. And the only thing is, is because what you get from Pillowport is what you, what you put into it. So you actively have to go find people to follow. You actively have to find the communities that you're most interested in. And even if it's not directly like, like Twisted Wonderland or Inuyasha or whatever, right? There are still a lot of people that do post under those things, maybe not in a community, but on their own website. So you actually actively have to go in there and find things. Um, yes, yeah. So you, you really have to be involved with the community there. And the reason why I say with it is because the community is legit a community. Um, whenever it does develop a fandom space though, once people actually feel like it does have a fandom space, I think the culture might change. Because right now people are just so open to discussions over there and sharing thoughts and just talking with each other. It doesn't really have a lot of a fandom presence as it is, hey, these people are just sharing junk that they like and people are enjoying what they're sharing kind of deal. So that's kind of the culture it has there right now. But I feel like it has so much potential and I don't know, I just want to talk about it because it's, it's a good site. That and then people, I've talked, <laughs> I was talking to other people. I'm like, hey, if I were to make a YouTube video, would you like to be, would you be okay if you're featured in it? And they're just like, yeah, feature my stuff. 
anything that I have that's available, like within Pillowfort that is all visible, you could do that. So I'm gonna be just looking around seeing what posts I'm able to share if if I decide to do that. Um, but yeah, that is that is something in the works that I would like to do. Just don't know when that's gonna be shipped out. That's rad. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, but the only reason why I shill it so much is because I'm most active on there anyway. Twitter, Twitter has been, it depends. You really need to know how to game the algorithm on there. And it's so quick to, to shadow ban you, especially if you're sharing links all the time, which is what I'm pretty much doing. I'm always like sharing links on either Twitter or the things that I just post on Pillow for because I actually do like full blown posts on there. And uh, I, I, I've been shadow banned to oblivion, but I still try to keep it active because it really forces you to use it every day. Twitter is one of those that it's like, if you do not use Twitter, like almost at least like 10 times a day, it'll start putting you down in the engagement list. So that's why people like schedule a bunch of twi tweets like over the day. So that way it continues farming the engagement. But if you skip a day of not even posting anything or whatever, it kills your engagement entirely. If you use three, more than three tags on your, your Twitter post, it'll, it'll just destroy your post. If you use a Twitter tag that is not actively trending, it'll put it down on the list of it being shown on people's stuff. The only way that people will actually see your stuff is if they click on the following tab rather than the for you tab but everybody is always on the for you tab because that's where all the interesting stuff is at but by the time that you see anything on the for you tab it's already been 20 hours later so you know it's just those little things have always been gripes to me from like learning and that's why i'm just like you know what i'm just gonna post on pillow for it because i don't have to think these crazy gymnastics of trying to, the, the algorithm gymnastics is too too annoying to keep up with. Um, and for people who study that stuff, more props to them because I do not have the patience anymore for that. <laughs> I really don't. So I, I really do the bare minimum on there now. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, that's it for me. I'm gonna go feed Butterball and hope that his eyeball gets better because his eyeball looks really bad. Um, and then just enjoy the rest of my night. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you guys for seeing my new face. You're going to be seeing her again tomorrow. And she won't kill you guys. She's here to take care of you, okay? <laughs> She's here to take care of you. She, she only wants to be your friend. But thank you guys for celebrating this. A likely story. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you, thank you for being here tonight. Happy anniversary to you! Three years. Going strong. Okay. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Um, let me see if anybody's streaming. I don't know if Siv is still streaming, but I might send you guys over there. If if he is. Ooh, no, he's ending stream. <laughs> I, I see his ending stream thing. Dang it. Oh well. Sure, thank you for streaming night, 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 night. She says that she wants to do another event like the one... <sighs> Listen, I haven't I haven't peaked since then, okay? I haven't thought of anything as brutal and cruel as I did with that one. Ever. Everything that I've thought of is so wholesome and good. And and it's it's been I've turned a new leaf. I would never I saw the eye dialing. No, it's real, I swear. I haven't thought of anything that would reach that that type of level. What event? I'm trying to say that I'm going to do another Valentine's event, but I have not. I haven't thought that far. I, my, my genius peaked at that moment, and then it's gone. It's gone. There's nothing, nothing there anymore for me to inflict such, such disarray and suspicion on me. So, uh, I have nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna end stream. Bye. Don't, don't, you're all gonna, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're, they're fine. They're safe. Okay, they're safe. 
Okay, bye. I forgot to turn off the gotcha. Whatever.